it all started on 20th November 2020 when I decided to book a plane ticket and fly back home permanently. Mind you, this is the longest I've been home in the last six years. So, wow. Hello, gorgeous. This is my outfit of the day. I'm going home. Home, home, home. See ya when I get there. Bye. Peace out. So, to me, 2021 began in a very wonderful way. By that, I mean I got a notification from YouTube that I had reached the 4,000 watch hours. And, oh my God, you can't imagine how I screamed, but I did scream. It was after Christmas and we had gathered, like there were still very many people at home. And I was screaming on top of my lungs. I was like, yeah! So everyone around me was looking at me like, ah, it's crazy. So that's how my 2021 started. It was like so good to me. The first days of 2021 were just like a blessing. I remember like watching videos on YouTube and people saying like it had taken them like five to six months without being monetized. And I know to my knees, I was like, God, I've waited for this for so long, please. <laughs> Let them get back to me as soon as possible. And guess what? That night, I think it was maybe around 1st of 2021, I applied and it was 5 a.m. for me when I, I checked my email and they said like, you are monetized. And I was like, what? Yeah! Yo, so 2021 began in a very beautiful way on my side. Then I go to experience one of the most burning dreams in my heart, like explore. I love exploring. I love going to different places. I love trips. I love tours. I love just like every each of me loves traveling. So when I left UAE, I told myself like have some saving. I don't have a sponsor. I'm my sponsor. So I saved some money. I told myself this, no matter what happens. Anyway, I saved some money and I told myself this, no matter what happens, you have to explore. So anyway, it wasn't enough for me to go to different countries, but it was enough for me to go to a few places in my country. And I think you can see these videos right here. I did post them on my YouTube. So that was a very amazing thing. And I was able to make that happen in the beginning of 2021 with my good friend Colin. And talking about Colin, oh my god, very many good things happened in 21 and very many bad things happened in 21. But all in all, I'm grateful. So 2021 made me realize that I actually have amazing people in my life. Yeah, I, oh my God, I'm so emotional that can make me cry. But Colin, I know you always watch my videos and I am supposed to send this to you personally, but oh my God, I'm grateful for you. I'm grateful for you being in my life. Like you're such an amazing friend. Oh my God. Yeah. Oh wow. Why do I say 2021? I mean in 2020, that's when I decided to move back home and I met Colin in UAE. We became friends in a lane for some good time. But again, I had this thing inside of me that said, you know, it's because we are like in a different country. I, so I didn't think me moving back to our country, we would still keep that friendship. But boy, boy, oh boy, girl, you proved me wrong. And I'm grateful to have you in my life. 
Wow, I'm a very blessed person. Yo, I am blessed. So as much as 2021 started with a lot of amazing things, it also came with the bad news. Um, I lost a brother in 2021 and God, that sucks. This is the last video I have of him. We had tried hard, like he wanted to learn a headstand because he wanted to prove our other brother wrong. And he finally got it. Oh my God, we celebrated this victory as if we had won a gold medal. But yeah, I'm glad we got a chance to do that. I love so my heart goes out to everyone who lost a loved one in this year. May they rest in peace and may you find comfort and healing. And then uh, when I lost a brother, I got depressed. I have a video on that as well. So I took a dark turn and it's kind of those things that me and depression unfortunately have a relationship, which I hate to say, but it's kind of, it, it doesn't go. It just takes a break and then it comes back when things like that happen. So yeah, I took a dark place, but then good news, I recovered and started making YouTube videos again. So all of that happened in the beginning of 2021. Oh my God. So the death of my brother taught me one thing that the only time we are sure of is now, now. So the assurance you have is the air that you're breathing right now when you can still feel it. The rest, you have no idea what's gonna to happen tomorrow. So whatever you want to do, that doesn't affect any other people in a negative way. And whatever you want to do that is not going to affect you in a negative way. Take chances. If you have dreams, go after your dreams. It doesn't matter whether your friends are not going to believe in you. It doesn't matter whether the relationship you're in right now doesn't support it. At the end of the day, it's going to be you at the end of it all. And I know this sounds so selfish, but I learned that the day I left him there alone, I realized that no matter what we have going on, no matter the relationships, no matter the friendships, no matter what, like when you lay down and when they lay you to rest, they, that's the end of it all. So getting caught in people's approvals, maybe I might not believe in your dream, but if you believe in it, that's enough for you to go after it. And it's okay to let some people go if they don't support your dreams. It's fine to let them go. At the end of the day, maybe they'll come along. And if they don't come along, it's okay. Their journey ended. The journey with you ended. So it's okay. The time we have is limited. We have to prioritize it and live to the maximum. Now, living to the maximum with everyone is going to be different. But whatever it means to you, just go after that because we do have a limited time and you don't know when that clock is going to stop clicking. And I don't want to make you feel like, yeah, but put that in mind. Whenever you lay down and you don't want to wake up, you, maybe your dream has always been starting YouTube or maybe your dream has always been going back to school to become a doctor or become a nurse, become a teacher. Your dream can be different. Maybe you wanted to learn piano like me, which I did accomplish and I feel like I failed, but I'm going to put that on my vision board in 2022. And I'm going to make sure that that's the first thing I work on beginning of 2022. Anyway, I just mean whatever your dream is, when you feel lazy and you're laying on your bed and trying to buy yourself time, just remember, you might not have that time the next day you wake up. It is okay to take a rest. It is okay to rest when you're tired. But being lazy is not okay. And not taking advantage of your time is not okay. Because you don't know when that time can be taken away. So whatever you have, don't take it for granted. Learn to not take people who are genuine in my life for granted. But then I also learned to let people go. Oh my God. I learned to let people go. In learning not to take people for granted came with learning to let people go who took me for granted. So I admit I've quit a lot of friendships, long-term friendships, 
towards the end of this year, like the people I've known for almost like 10 years of my life, the people I've known for almost 16 years of my life and like for the most five years it has been a struggle of holding that relationship, feeling like I want to leave the relationship. And you know like friendships also become long-term relationships and sometimes they can stop serving you but then because you've known someone for so long you don't want to let them go i have let people go and it's okay it's not that they are bad people and i might be the bad one actually i might be the bad one but to me they stopped serving me and i stopped serving them so there was no need for me to hold on to those friendships i still want them to thrive I still want them to grow and glow and flourish, be wealthy, be healthy, but I don't want them in my circle. Like, we do not serve each other right anymore. And if we force that, we are going to end up being toxic. So I learned letting go. And you should try it as well. Okay, with learning to let go, I also learned to hold on to people who are amazing and genuine. I learned to understand that this person is valuable. We all come with flaws. I learned that some people are just worth it and you have to keep trying, which I've done also this year. With the art of learning to let go, I've also learned to hold on to the people that are so important. So as we skip to the good part, I hit 6K in 2021 with my on and off posting oh my god you guys don't know how much i'm grateful for you i'm grateful for the community we've built i'm grateful for the amazing people who watch my videos i'm grateful for the amazing subscribers i'm grateful for the day ones be kind oh my god just like your name you're just a kind person josh liking Colin Carrere, like the very many day ones that I can't even mention their names, but among the day ones, those three people started with me from the beginning and until now. Like they never missed any video I uploaded. So man, I'm grateful for you. And I'm grateful for each and every one of you who is watching me right now and all who have been with me Till this time, like through my rock bottom and my highs, my lows, my middles, yo, you guys have stood there and watched me through everything. So I'm grateful for you. Thank you for the 6k. And I know we are going to hit 7k soon and very soon we'll have 10k. So subscribe. I also got a dog that I've always wanted. So yes, her name is Sky. And in the longest time possible since maybe let's say six or seven years, I finally got to stay home for some good time with my family and I'm grateful for that. I'm grateful for you guys out there. I'm grateful for the community. I'm grateful for the friends that I've gone through YouTube. I'm grateful for the platform you guys have given me. I love you guys. I wish I could give you a big hug. But I can't, so I'll hug myself on your behalf. And finally, I want to say happy 2022 to you all. Happy New Year, beautiful people. Happy New Year, gorgeous. I love you guys so, so much from the bottom of my heart. I'm so grateful to be on this journey with you. I'm so grateful for you guys. I love you so, so much. And I mean this from the bottom of my heart. I love you. I can't wait to see what 2022 has in store for us. But again, let's not forget to make vision boards and actually work on the things we put on our vision board. The only thing that hasn't changed in 2021 is that I'm still single. Maybe that will change in 2022. And if it doesn't, no problem. We can always travel. Anyway, yeah, that will be it for this video. I wish you a very beautiful, amazing, prosperous, healthy, 
or whatever you want just feel it in the new year i hope you work hard on the things that you've put on your vision board because i know we are all putting we are all writing vision board we are all making plans on what we want to do in 2022 how we want the year to go i just want you to remember that whatever you put there it's not going to work on its own you have to put in the work and it will happen don't forget to be kind to one another don't forget to wear that smile and don't forget to be genuine as genuine as possible we need a lot of genuine people out in the world and the most important thing don't forget to be kind to yourself so thank you so much guys for watching please subscribe if you haven't already turn on the notifications bell so that you can be notified anytime i post a new video Mwah! see you in 2022 happy new year love you Mwah! bye adios